Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial for you today, and this is about um, actually knocking sort of physics objects into water and then making it float. Now, I did a couple of other physics tutorials that, which is about pushing an object and then making sort of impact sound when you hit the ground and things like that. So I'm going to follow on from there. So my scene is just my you know general scene with a character controller. I've got a plane of water and. I've set the Y value of the water to 4 because we're going to use that in the script. Now on the barrel that we've actually got, um, we've got what I had before, so an impact effect and an audio source. Now for this, what we're going to do is on the impact effect, you can download these from my website, um, I just added a water splash sound effect so when it hits the water, that script doesn't need to be changed and it'll work just the same. Um, your object, if it didn't already, needed a rigid, vod rigid body with use gravity. It needed a mesh collider, which is tagged as convex, obviously, because we've got a more a cylindrical object. And on our first person controller, we've just got the object physics, so we'll be able to push it into the water. Now, we're going to start off by making the script, which is going to control you know, when the barrel hits the water and making it do something when it's at a certain level. So, what we'll do is we'll go create JavaScript and we'll just call this float. And what we'll do is open up in MonoDevelop. And when that's open, I'll delete these two functions. I'm going to say variable water level as type float, make that equal to 4. Obviously, you change to whatever height of your water is from your y value. Then we're going to have a variable called float height as type float and set it equal to 2. Now you can change this depending on how high you want your object to float in the water. You know you can always change this in the, expect, in, in the inspector once you've written the script. But you just need to mess about with what works for you. We'll have another variable called bounce damp and set that as type float equal to 0 0.05 and that's almost how you know rapidly it bounces up and down then we'll have another variable called buoyancy center offset and set that as type vector 3 with a semicolon then we're going to have three private variables one called force factor set that as type float another private variable called action point as type vector 3 and then one more private variable called uplift um, as type vector 3 as well and then we're going to begin by saying function update and then adding two curly brackets then we'll say action point is equal to transform dot position plus transform dot transform direction in brackets buoyancy center offset so we'll copy it from whatever we set up here so we spell it make sure we spell it right close the brackets add a semicolon then we'll say force factor is equal to 1f minus open up two brackets we'll say the action point dot y minus the water level close the brackets divided by float height close the brackets semicolon and then we'll write a new statement and say if the force factor is greater than 0 F then we'll add two curly brackets underneath and say that uplift is equal to minus physics dot gravity times by open brackets force factor minus rigid body dot velocity 
dot y times by bounce damp close that bracket add a semicolon then we'll say rigid body dot add force at position then we'll say uplift comma action point and then we'll save that out so all we're saying really is that in the um, update we're setting an action point to where it's going to move or where it's going to sort of pivot from and we're setting it to the position at the direction that we set the offset to be and then we're setting um, force factor but I've actually missed out the equals in force factor is <clears throat> where you apply the force at the action point that we've set um, by the water level and we're just dividing it by um, the height at which it will um, move up and down and as long as the force um, factor that we've set is greater than zero then it'll apply some physics based on gravity and make it you know as if it will bob up and down accordingly so we'll save this out and we'll go back into mono develop and then what we'll do is we'll click on our barrel that we had and I'll add the float value here now we have the water level set to fall like the height of the plane we'll have the float height about two you know you can change all this and we can have the center offset so we can maybe add one to the x value and this you know you can change this depending on what you want I'll change it and show you as we go through so if I press play you'll see my barrel there I can push it off and it lands in the water and you know it floats about and we can push it whilst it's in the water you know we can push it around and do whatever now what I'll do is I'll play this again actually and I'll push the barrel in again I'll push the barrel in and what I can do if I can try and change this without it moving too much if we change this one to one and that to one you'll notice that the position of the barrel slightly changes so if I'll knock these two to zero you'll see that it moves differently because it has a different offset depending on what type of barrel you would have so if I now set this to five you'll notice that you know it changes appropriately to you know however you want it to actually look so this could be you know something with um, somebody inside and you know f for a f uh, fun game but as I say you know this is just a sort of simple way um, to actually get this to work so if you like the tutorial as ever Thanks for watching and like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.